Hello, Facebook, YouTube, the day of Satil, the Archangel. God is our prayer. No, not Thor. He's a false God. Quick acknowledging false God on God's steps. Well, so I thought that Ophiuchus started at uh, November 29, but I we're wrong. It starts on the 30th. Tomorrow, the, uh, the hidden 13th constellation, Ophiuchus, starts tomorrow and it ends at December 18th. So let's see what's going on or what's going to maybe fulfill itself. But uh, the topic of the message is... um. Yeah, uh, it's called the reality. Uh, well, I was um, meditating on the idea of being humble, you know, yesterday. I mean, how being humble is how we are supposed to learn to live righteous, learn the righteousness of God is to be humble. And the thing is, you know, that I discovered that you know, being humble is supposed to be something of value. See, it, it's supposed to be valuable. Uh, you, you're, when you understand how it is important to learn God's righteousness, you will understand the value of being humble is all about. And and how not, not just you're humble, is how much humble you willing to uh, become if you want to l learn the right, learn and perform the righteousness of God is what every Christian hopefully is on that quest concerning their truly of uh, Genesis 126 made in the image and the likeness of God is what the quest that those that are follow the word of God desires to be in his image, in his likeness. Is what's supposed to be the ideal of Christianity. Um, but the topic of this message that I want to talk about is this is very important concerning, you know, being humble, you know, is about hearing his voice. Um, hearing God's voice is very important concerning, you know, uh, really following his uh, direction, you know, Hearing his voice is what should be the ultimate goal. And I call that goal of uh, Matthews 4 and 4 um, being made. I mean, Matthew 4 and 4, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word, every word that is proceeded out of the mouth of God is what supposed to be the ideal of every Christian, we as what if Jesus said, you know, it's interesting in that scripture, um, um, oh, in that ver uh, chapter, Matthew's four, it's the first thing that Jesus said to Satan. I mean, shouldn't that be something that we should uh, understand? concerning if we are truly going to be like Jesus Christ, that should be the main thing of every Christian needs to understand if they're going to truly be uh, more like Christ. I mean, more like Christ. Jesus Christ says that, you know, to say, you know, uh, when he when he was tempted by Satan, he said that, you know, uh, man will should not live not just, more likely not just by bread alone, but by every, that's the powerful I mean, word in my viewpoint, every. He didn't say some of his words that unfortunately Christians are following some of his word and unfortunately little of his word for certain Christians, but he said every word, every is the powerful statement. Every word that is proceeded out of the mouth of God is supposed to be the idea of every Christian goal to get to. But that goal can only get to, that goal can only happen 
concerning of uh, Hebrews um, 4 and 7. And it says, again, he limit a certain day, saying in David, today, after so long a time, as it is said today, sorry, if you if ye hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. You know what I'm saying? And a topic of this message I want to call this is uh, spiritual death. Uh, no, spiritual. Well, sp reality of being spiritual death of hearing. Yeah. Reality of being spiritual death of hearing. And, you know, that is what, unfortunately, those that can't, Matthews 4-4, four, four, they can't hear every word. They may can hear some of these words, but here's what I learned. that like I learned, you know, in being a Christian, that God taught me about, like, it says like I my and you know my inscription they have eyes but they can't see they have ears but they can't hear what God taught me about spiritual wax and people don't understand that there are spiritual wax in our ears not just natural wax that you know get filthy in our ears but the spiritual wax in our ear and what happens and that's why he said a love like I learned that it said it in Matthew's uh uh uh, 13 I mean uh, Matthew 24 it says that many shall wax cold more likely he's talking about spiritual wax Jesus talking about spiritual wax that we have spiritual wax in your ears and what happens what develops spiritual wax is sin and iniquity you know what I'm saying is operating in sin and iniquity that develops spiritual wax and, and God taught me that, you know, that there's spiritual wax that happen inside of people they don't realize, you know, and that's what makes them deaf of hearing God's voice and hearing everywhere. And God can be speaking to certain people, but if they're, if they got wax in their ears, they're going to can maybe misinterpret what God was trying to tell them. Yes you can misinterpret something that God was trying to tell you. And what happens is sometimes God, well, most of the time for certain people and mainly Christians, that God has to put you in that position in a situation and say, no, you know, and, and let the situation tell you, you know what I'm saying? If God can't tell you, he'll let the situation tell you. I hope you got that. Um, that be, and reason why you didn't receive it because your ears were spirit, had spiritual wax. You couldn't hear the voice of the Lord of what he, he was trying to tell you concerning a lot of things. And it's like, if you hear his voice, because God is always talking. Like I try to tell people that God is always talking and talking to everybody. Everybody. God will talk to everybody. But if their ears are not conditioned to hear his voice, they will not, you know, they will not uh, hear it or they won't follow it. You know what I'm saying? It's what people need to understand, people and Christians. But yeah, God God talks to sinners. God talks to them. But how they interpret what God says, they may have interpreted it wrong because of the spiritual wax that is inside their hearts and that go, when it goes in their hearts, it goes in their ears and it goes in their eyes. Yeah, that's why. And that's why it says they show a uh, love for many show wax coal, like the ideal of coal. You get that coal in your eye right here. And that coal is what it's talking about, coal. And what people don't understand spiritually, they got coal in their eye and their coal is like thick in their eye. They can't even see you know what I'm saying? The things of God. See what God is doing or see what God's trying to do. That people must understand concerning, you know, if they're, you know, that God, that God do uh, does communicate with us. God do, and God communicates to us. And he do 
uh, won't try to instruct us because he is our creator. He is our heavenly father. But people don't, you know, rebel against his correction because they have believed the things of this world, of course, that is ran by the God of this world, blind the minds of men that influence them, people with, you know, darkness, you know what I'm saying, and wickedness. And, and what happens is what increased the wax and the coal is how much you believe it and how much you follow it. You know what I'm saying? That people don't realize that, you know, the more you believe the influence of this world system you, uh, and follow it, you increase the wax, increase the coal in your eyes. And it's there. And you, you know, uh, see, you see stuff like what Jesus says. You see what you cannot see. You hear what you cannot hear. And you, and you, but you sense that something is trying to uh, show you something, but you, of course, unfortunately, your heart is hardened. And, and yeah, and yes, and when you commit sin and iniquity, what happens is you you iniquity is the main thing that is inside of people that is continued the uh system of a cycle of sin. Iniquity is what is the problem of people continuing sin because it's one thing to sin and it's one thing to continue to sin. But iniquity keeps people continuous in because iniquity sits in our hearts. And what it does, it, you know, hardens our hearts. It, it keeps our heart hard that, you know, and, uh, and I tell people, teach people that a hard heart going to lead to a hard head. Yeah. Now, uh, and interesting about that, that, you know, it, you know, the Bible, you know, Jesus says, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. And then it says all thy soul and all thy mind. Well, people don't realize when you harden your heart, you harden the area, spiritual, valuable, spiritual area arena that your soul is not going to receive the proper, uh, uh, will receive the proper, uh, what it needs from the heart to get to the mind. That now, and when that doesn't happen, when the heart can't, get to the soul to get to the mind that what creates the hard head that you know certain people desire unfortunately to have in this world system conditions people through influence television and radio and internet your environment to maintain the hardness of the iniquity inside of people is what it's all about but I'm gonna talk about uh, what I, David says I know that Paul through Hebrews was, you know, quoting David word, but watch what David says in Psalms 97 and I mean, Psalms 95 in the seventh verse, it says, for he is our God and, and we are the people of his pasture. He is our God. See, David right now declaring and pretty much recognizing that God is God. See, what the, this world system is conditions about, you know, like I try to tell people about the ideal of the 666, means to, the ideal is to make men a deity or make them men as God. You know what I'm saying? Like what the serpent told Eve, you know, if you uh, eat from the tree, you become as God. See, you, you think you own God's level, pretty much, and you're not, you know. Um, it's what keep people deceiving people that, you know, that you can, you know, do what the heck you want to do. And you, it's all about you. It's all about me, myself, and not a curse of Trinity. But here's the thing, what David is showing that he acknowledges, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture. And the sheep of his hand, as what we know that David said, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want in Psalms 23, that we are supposed to recognize that, that he is our shepherd and we shouldn't have to want what the world give us. That's another message. But it says today, if you hear his voice, harden not in the eight verse, Harden not your heart 
as in the provocation, as it in, in the day of temptation in the wilderness. As we know that Jesus Christ was in temptation in the wilderness and he told um, Satan, you know what I'm saying? I'm about hearing every word that is proceeded out of the mouth of God. It's what is most important thing that every Christian is supposed to aim for to that we hear every word that is proceeded out of the mouth of God. Now, understand this one thing that you better uh, concerning uh, this uh, process that's going to take pretty much being transformed and no longer come form to this world, but transformation. That Jesus, God speaks the language of truth. You know, let me say it again. God speaks the language of truth as what it says. God is spirit and they shall worship and must worship in spirit and truth. God is the God of truth and his language is of truth. And the problem of people that are going to be um, be spiritual deaf ears, they don't understand that they must learn, like I was talking about, learn to humble yourself, to learn to understand the ways of God concerning his truth. It's what is supposed to be the objective and understanding that you're going to learn his truth. You're going to get oppositions of people that are following the lies of this world system that is going to tempt you to, you know, tempt you in temptation, tempt you to go out and back to the nonsense of this world system concerning or conform you pretty much that you don't become transformed by the renewing of your mind and having the mind of Christ. See, and remember I talked about like the heart, soul, and mind, see, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. See, when you not when you soften up your heart pretty much and tender your heart concerning being humble, tender your heart concerning to me, I believe the Holy Ghost fire. When you receive the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost is supposed to consume the wax of the iniquity in your heart. That it will melt that away that you can start hearing the voice of God and you can start receiving it in your soul where you make your decisions at and your mind start being renewed and having the mind of Christ is supposed to be the goal of every Christian to perform in order to us, like I said, be Genesis 126 made in the image and likeness of God is what we must understand but we can't do that goal having spiritually deaf ears is what this video is all about. All right, that's the message. Hope you got it. To God be the glory of him forever and ever.